Hello again, I'm Rob Caldwell. And I'm Samantha York. Pat and Cindy are both off tonight. The trial of Sharon Carrillo began today with opening statements from her lawyers and prosecutors. At issue, is Carrillo guilty of depraved indifference murder in the death of her daughter, Marissa Kennedy, who was just 10 years old? It's a case that helped change the way kids in the child welfare system are kept track of. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry was there as the trial began. Who beat Ms. Marissa Kennedy to death? Who is responsible for her murder? Her mother, Sharon Carrillo. An emotional morning in the Waldo County Courthouse as state prosecutors detailed the alleged abuse Sharon Carrillo and her husband Julio inflicted on her 10-year-old daughter. Marissa had a large bruise on her face. Her abdomen was swollen and purple and she was cold to the touch. State prosecutor Don May Cumber goes on to say some of Marissa's injuries were old and some were new when she died. He says Marissa had imprints of hands, feet, and belt buckles on her body and that Sharon and Julio thought the little girl was faking it. Sharon Carrillo confessed <laughs> that she and her husband, Julio and Carrillo, had beaten Marissa Kennedy to death. Sharon Carrillo's attorney, Chris McLean, didn't argue that what happened to Marissa was gruesome. There's no question that Marissa died an absolutely terrible, horrible death. Instead, he claims Sharon was also a victim of Julio's violence, which is why she falsely confessed. False confessions are actually a real thing. Uh, they're documented in the psychological literature. The defense plans to call a psychiatrist to talk about that very thing. And what the factors are that you look at when you decide whether or not someone who sounds like they're admitting involvement in something, convincingly sometimes, may be doing that uh, untruthfully. Sharon's attorney Chris McLean says he expects this trial to last a couple of weeks with the number of witnesses being called by both the state and the defense. On the witness list include Sharon's husband Julio Carrillo and Shauna Gatto. Gatto was found guilty of the murder of four-year-old Kendall Chick earlier this year. We're not sure the connection between the two women. In Belfast, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine. And there are many other people on the potential witness list, including members of Julio's family and both Sharon's father and stepmother who were Marissa's grandparents.